Welcome to Mathologic Wealth, week 27 of our 50-week journey to transform how life insurance is bought and sold. For too long, life insurance agents have been caught in a bad system. Can we ever truly be considered professionals without published principles? That's why we're developing generally accepted life insurance principles. The acronym is GALLUP, which is a principled way to buy and sell life insurance built on the two basic tenets of trust competency, and transparency. These 50 weekly classes give advisors the information they need to help consumers make truly informed decisions about life insurance. It's a process of discovery for our entire industry. Now, you don't have to agree with generally accepted principles, our Gallup principles. Just please, if possible, if you're seeing this, just tell us why you don't agree and show us your alternative. Here's the first thing the clients need to understand. Life insurance is statistics, and your client is an anecdote. The insurance company operates on large numbers and predictable outcomes. Your client? Their once individual story within those statistics. But here's the beautiful part. When you understand how the stats work, you can help your client become the kind of anecdote that wins. So what exactly is a lapse? You know, simply put, it's when someone doesn't get their full expected death benefit. Some people quit and take cash value. Others don't know their options, that there are other options that exist. Some just stop paying. You know, here's what most people don't realize. When someone lapses, they typically leave money on the table. But that money doesn't disappear. It stays in the pool for everyone else. A lapse is typically a significant financial loss to policy owners who lapse. The good news is there's more in the pool for those who stay around. And our first step is to optimize the death benefit long-term by having our consumers, our customers planning to stay around. This brings us to something fascinating. Life insurance is actually priced assuming some people will quit. Other investments don't work this way. Your mutual fund doesn't get better because other investors panic and sell, but life insurance does. Let me give you a real example. Canada developed last supported term to 100 policies with zero cash value forever. They were priced assuming 6% of people would quit each year, each time receiving no cash when they quit. The actual rate, just 2% quit. 2% lapsed. After 40 years, instead of nine people left in the pool, there were 45. That's five times more people than expected all in a position to receive their full tax-free death benefit that was significantly underpriced when they calculated it because so few lapsed their no-cash-value policies. The people who stayed around benefited enormously from understanding this simple concept. I call this concept your life completion pool. Here's a pie chart. Picture this, where half represents policies that lapsed and the other half represents claims paid. The money from that lapsing piece doesn't vanish. It enhances the values for those who stay in the pool. It's not about being unfair to other. It's about understanding how the system works and positioning yourself to explain who your customers benefit from by staying committed. Here are the most important things everybody should know. It's lapse fueled. It's bought by having good health. And it's supercharged by something we call diversified portfolio approach, DPA. Now you wonder, why do lapses happen? Why do people lapse in the first place? Usually it's because they didn't understand what they were buying. They thought they were buying an investment when they were actually accessing a wealth optimization tool. The source of all poor choices is blind spots. When someone has all the information, they make better decisions. What's our job as advisors? To eliminate those blind spots. Here's the basics of an insurance product. First of all, we know there will be losers and winners. Now, here's the data. 33 to 55% of people surrender early and get awful value. 20 to 40% surrender later and get good value, but only 10 to 40% hold until death and get very good value. The difference? Knowledge. Understanding how the system works. Having an advisor who's willing to have this conversation. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. This is a sophisticated portfolio thinking, not just product selection. 
This is what I call DPA optimization framework. When you understand lapses, you can think about different life insurance products like asset classes. Term products work like cash, flexible and convertible. Guaranteed products work like bonds, stable with a mathematical certainty. Participating products work like equity investments, higher growth potential enhanced by lapse assumptions. Instead of just selling products, you're helping clients build a diversified portfolio of life insurance tools, each with different lapse characteristics that can be optimized over decades. Here's something important. FSRA expects us to put customers' interests first and promote transparency. We're supposed to have these conversations. And before anyone considering lapsing, they should know their options. Look at these numbers. Someone might cash out for $270,000 not knowing they have other options. Here they go. Option three, donate to a charity. And in this case, the client would have received $500,000 charitable receipt. Or option four, use third-party non-recourse loans to accumulate the costs if you can get the loans. And at the time of death, the estate receives the death benefit minus any loan balance. And here's another option. Combine with an annuity and create a 10% plus fixed interest GIC type investment for your retirement. It maintains the capital you've invested into the GIC for your estate. And then, of course, there's always option six. Just keep paying and we can calculate the return. In this case, 20% plus for the estate. And we do the projections and we attach the numbers. So here's the bottom line. Lapsin aren't a problem to hide from clients. They're a structural advantage to help them understand. When you explain how the system really works, clients make better decisions. They trust you more and optimize their outcomes. This is what MathLogic Wealth is all about, making the math work for your clients by giving them the information they need to make truly informed decisions. Because when you understand how the system really works, everyone wins. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for week 28 of MathLogic Wealth. Wealth.